This is one that uh, causes problems for a lot of students just because of the, the division. We've got 3.72 times 10 to the minus 9th, which is a lot smaller than uh, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. But let's, let's see what we can do. Um, we're given the molecules, and we want to get the moles. It's set up just like any other problem. We'll start out with 3.72 times 10 to the 9th molecules. And we want to end up with the final answer of moles. So we know we'll have moles on the bottom. No, we'll have molecules on the bottom. If we want to cancel molecules out. And then moles has to be on the top because that's what we want to end up with. Well, one mole is Avogadro's number. 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. Now we can cancel molecules out and we can cancel the 10 to the 9th out, but we'll have to subtract 9 from this. So if we cancel that out, we would get 10 to the 14th. If you do it in your calculator, just put 10 to the 9th divided by 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd, you'll come up with an answer. Um, but if you don't have that calculator, you can cancel those out. So now I'm taking 3.72 divided by 6.02 which actually gives me 0 0.61 and I have to remember this times 10 to the 14th but since it's below it actually is 10 to the minus 14th and this is moles it's pretty small if I wanted to put it in scientific notation I would really need to end up putting 6.1 times 10 so I made this bigger this has to get even smaller moles. And it is moles um, what we wanted to get, so we're good there. This is a really small number, so it's not even close to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd, so we know we should get a pretty small answer for our moles, and we certainly did right there. The only tough part about this problem is dividing these two numbers, and if you have a calculator that can do that, it makes it a lot easier. Otherwise, you do need to um, work it out as I've shown you here.